What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here back at the shop. We got a couple of fellow gang members today. We got Noah, me, Mr. Kyle. We got Cody behind the camera right now. We got the OG in the building. What's up guys? Hey, we got a jam packed video for you guys today. A fun one, honestly. Whole bunch of funny clips. This is a good one to make for sure. Um, we got some personals that I'm selling in this video. Who brought some stuff in that he's selling, some bangers, all the size 11 half 12s, all the big heaters. So someone brought in a fake as well. Um, we didn't buy the fake, so don't get it twisted. We don't buy fakes around here. But someone did bring a fake by, uh, a couple fakes. Let's just say her baby daddy was rocking fakes. They broke up, didn't work out. The fakes ended up in the trash out there. We went and picked them up and we thought, why not show a video? Give you guys a little education, a little black light test. Just like, just a whole legit check on yeah. the shoes. Just give you guys a little rundown on this so stuff. So stay tuned for that. This is gonna be our last video at the shop before we head to over to Sneaker Con in Denver. We have one more video coming this week, which is gonna be super cool. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna go sneaker shopping around Arizona. Like I said, Sneaker Con Denver will be at this weekend. We also have a very, very big announcement that we'll be telling you guys in the Sneaker Con Denver video. So again, stay tuned for that as yes. well. We're super excited, super proud. Can't wait to tell you guys. Yeah. So make sure you stay tuned to that video. Also, we have some more announcements coming up um, soon. What, June? 20th? June 18th. Yes. So the 20th is our anniversary. Our 20th is our anniversary, but the 18th is a Saturday, so we're going to do on the 18th. We are planning, if it all works out, with Mr. Koo over here and his buddy over at Brophy, which Brophy is the local high school, literally right across the gym. I mean, right across the gym. Right across, right across, across the street. The street. <laughs> um, and this ain't your regular, regular high school. This is, oh, this is a prep school. This is a prep huge. school. So it's a nice big gym. We want to run a massive event in there have a whole bunch of vendors yeah. stuff like that just for our one year obviously we'll be open here we'll be open over there it could be like a block party yeah so i mean we'll shoot a video here we'll shoot a video there um we also want to maybe incorporate some basketball stuff yeah which i think would be sick we just have a great idea for it i think it's i think it'll be a It'll be killing. So yeah, sure. we're starting to plan that too. So stay tuned if you guys are local or if you guys want to fly out and come see us at our two year anniversary. Honestly, I'm serious, it will be worth it. Yeah. There'll be a massive line. Every time we do anything like this, there'll be a massive line. We'll be doing giveaways, we'll be doing, giveaways. We'll be doing raffles. We'll have a nice big event. We'll, we'll have probably merch. have like a, I don't know if it'll be a tournament, maybe like a three point contest, dunk contest for a shoe, something. Yeah, I'll we'll be dunking, don't worry. Don't yeah. We'll be dunking. Oh, yes, yeah, so we got a whole bunch of stuff planned for that as well. As one more thing. Sneaker Con uh, LA. Yeah, this is gonna We're be super huge. excited about. We're all gonna pull up to that one too, the whole gang. We're oh. definitely gonna have a table of that one as yeah. well. So stay tuned to that. Wow. Pull up to LA, it's a two day event. If we have any merch left, which merch has been flying, so shout out to y'all. Yeah. While we'll be bringing merch, we will be bringing some heat. We're gonna be cashing out, we're gonna be shooting a video. We're very excited for Sneaker Con LA, and we're very excited for Sneaker Con Denver. It's a little pre party oh, before, right. the, before the two day event. And stay tuned for our announcement, like I said, because it's gonna make LA no, even yeah. bigger. Honestly, it's a big, big way. deal for us, and it's a big, big deal for anybody. Yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy. I'm very proud. So, but, yes. anyways, that's all of our updates for now. But before we get into this, like and subscribe to this video. Subscribe to us if you haven't already. We're starting to climb up, getting close to that 10K. I really want to hit 10K. Yeah. We're about, we'll hit probably seven by the end of 10K, next week, I think. But yeah. 10K, we're trying to get there. Yes. Also, comment down below. Favorite part of this video. Uh, more stuff you want to see from us at the shop. Kyle gives away $30 to a random comment. Show them real quick. We have all these pairs right here. All of these. We're gonna. We're just doing pictures real quick. We're not gonna show all these off right now, in detail. But some heat Bro, for sure. Some heat for sure. I mean, look at Travis. Right. Travis. Yeah. Travis. Hold Travis, on. Let's just start over here, just very, very quickly. I mean, we got the uh, Concept Air Max ones. We got two of those. We got some New Bounces. We got some Padas. We got some Unions. We got some Dunks right here. We got a Travis. We got another Travis. Eleven half twelve. We got some orange box dunks that Kuz will be showing off in the later in the video. A couple of these pairs will be showing off. Some, what are those, vintage greens, right? Yep. Some yep. off-white fours, some uh, unions, unions, some other unions, the real unions. Booty unions, the fire unions. You got <laughs> the off-white 90s. You got the off-white ones. We got chunky dunks. We got supreme dunkariskis. We got some OG 11s. We got some grade schools. We got some Travis dunks. We got some Travis Lowe's. We got all the heat today, yeah. baby. We're putting it all this out. This is a casual Sunday picture session. All these pairs right here are available in store or that's what we're doing right now. Taking pictures, put on Instagram, at phx.souls. We ship everywhere. So hit us in the DMs if you want any of these pairs or anything else you see in this video. We got a lot of goodies coming up, lots yeah. of events. We got a lot to get into in this video, so we so, won't waste any more time. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. No, we're not welcome back. <laughs> this is in the middle of the video. <laughs> Hey, we just keep this rolling, yeah? Yeah. All right, let's keep uh, it rolling. All right, guys, we are back. We have another special appearance from Mr. Koo. Hey, it's OG. We're in a silly, goofy mood right now. Well, I don't know why we're in a silly, goofy mood. Koo knows why he's, he's in a silly, goofy mood. That's your mocha during the store today. Oh my gosh. Fucking amazing. It just, just slowed down. Yeah, it's 7.30 right now. 
about to close up. We finally were able to film. We wanted to film so much earlier, but it has been so busy today. So shout out to all y'all. I just show this off just because a couple people have bought some merch pieces today. We're pretty much, <clears throat> we're getting, we're almost out of it. We're getting pretty close. We, we, we don't have much left, but shout out to y'all. You guys purchased some stuff in store today. We sold a couple teas in store. And a couple people bought, you know, an XO cream tea, an XO gray tea. Uh, this one homie bought an XO shirt and an XO hoodie. So what do you guys say to the people? Thanks for the support. Yes. <laughs> That's a major support right now. <laughs> oh yes, we should tell Koo. Koo's hey, coming to Denver with us. De yes. Hey, we are in the building. Yes, Koo's coming. Koo's <laughs> We are in the building. <laughs> Koo's coming to Denver with us. It's actually pretty hype. Last minute, Koo's coming. We're pretty excited. It's gonna be me, Noah, and Koo. We're gonna be in the building. It's not gonna be the two amigos, it's gonna be the three amigos today. Oh yeah. So and we'll be in there early. Yes, yeah, so Koo's uh, gonna cash point. out? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we're gonna yeah, Koo is gonna, <laughs> Koo is gonna cash yeah, out. Yeah, we're gonna cash out, we're gonna get some stuff, we some goodies. But like I said, thank you all for supporting us on this. We won't be able to bring any merch to Denver, but we're driving to LA. So yeah. the whole gang should be there at LA SneakerCon. We're gonna bring the rest of the merch that we have. Everybody always asks for merch at the shows. We should have a booth. We got a very special announcement that we probably already talked about. You know, we're filming this different clips. So I don't know if we talked about it already, but we got a very big announcement coming. That we're gonna be telling you guys at SneakerCon Denver. But yes, we're gonna get into some of these pickups that we got. Oh, yeah. Who brought some more size 11 half and 12s? Big boy sizes. He brought some more sizes in for you guys. Travis. Yep. Travis. <laughs> yep. Size Welcome. 12. Size 12. Yes, you see it. How much are these boys? I think they're like 2200. Really? No, you're tripping. 19? I think it's more like, I think it's for a pair for 17 or 18. 11 and a half though. Might be higher. I don't know. Kubron is size 12. Like I said, if you're a I big boy, you. you all are sleeping. We got all the 11 and a half 12s now. Literally, all of them. We got all the big boys. my closet, trying to narrow down my selection. Cleaning out my closet. <laughs> I'm sorry, mama. <laughs> So, you see it right here? We got an 11 and a half right here for all the big boys. Who wasn't pricing these? Yeah, you literally just brought all these in. Yep. Personals? In. Personals. The Personals. pack came in. Who's been unloading the personals here recently? Yes. Which one should I do? Which one should I do? All right, I'm gonna say this one just because you don't see this one too often. This one's pretty crazy too. Knights of Mischief. Yes. You know, I've had lots of Knights of Mischief. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dead Star. What do you gotta say about these? You know what? Since I haven't worn them, I guess I didn't like him as much as I thought I liked yeah. when I bought him. I think, I don't know, this shoe's cool. It's okay. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's cool. It's it's a cool shoe. Size 12 though is probably up, huh? Yes. But last but not least, this one you do not see right here. A gem. Dead stock as a well. A gem. Dead stock. Orange box. Yes. Pretty crazy. This is crazy. Size 12 right here. You don't see these. These aren't, these aren't going to be here very long. Sorry if there's a cricket in the background. You can hear him. We tried to kill Jiminy Cricket, but he's making a dash yeah. and he's avoiding. You think you can hear this. him on the camera? Probably. I bet you can hear him, bro. Shut up, dude. Where's he at? Hello. The Cricket is messing up this whole demo. Yes. This right? is not cool. Where's Sexton Pest Control when you need it? Shut up, Sexton. Even though <laughs> keep in my house with termites. Shut up, bro. <laughs> Where is he at? Watch him not. You not even be able to hear him on the camera. <laughs> bro, he's so annoying. Got him. He stopped. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Back, back to the orange box dunks. Yes. Here we go. And we back. <laughs> and we're back again. Rare pair right here. <laughs> Super rare. You don't really see them. Oh, what are these at? I'm actually very curious. Have you checked? That's how much I think they were at 650. No way. They had to be more than that. You sure? I think they had dropped a little bit. What the hell? They do drop off in that size. 11 and a half is 900, bro. That doesn't make making no sense. 11 and a half is 900, but a 12 is 484. Makes sense. That's so weird, bro. They were at 600, then they dropped. Huh? They, they were at six, and then they dropped. Yeah. Shout out to Cricket. Hey, shout out to the Cricket again. I don't he's know if you guys can hear him, but <laughs> he's back and he's making noise. But yeah, pretty cool one. Orange box. You don't really see these too often. All right, that's enough for the shoes. Also, want to go over, brought us some vintage stuff. We do carry vintage here. Not as much as we used to, but I brought us some personals. Shout out to y'all. Follow me before we get into this. Follow me. At the personal vintage, no one's gonna give me a pop tag real quick. But I already sold these ones this morning. Got a little Ben Wallace Kobe 2004 NBA Finals. Oh, shut up! And the cricket oh. is oh my back. Gosh. Hi, cricket. <laughs> 2004 NBA Finals. I don't want to unfold it, but 2004 NBA Finals Kobe Ben Wallace on the front Pistons versus Lakers. Pretty cool. I sold a little Scooby T. 
pretty sick. I sell this one for 200, I sell this one for 300. This is vintage, so if you think I'm tripping on my prices, that's that's the market for it. And then we got a little Scotty Pippen. I'll unfold this one, this one's pretty cool. Scotty Pippen, I actually picked this up at Heated so This didn't fit me how I wanted. I sold this one for 150, I picked it up for like 70. So I actually made money off of it. 70 or 80 I paid for it. And next up, we got a couple tees going out. I'm gonna go through these quick. This is not shoes, but it's vintage. Ties in to shoes, expired stuff. Who's got on vintage today? I got on vintage today. We love the vintage. Well, right here, we got a 1996 Dennis Robin, size large on the Marina tag. And then we got a little NASCAR. I had this one in the shop for a little bit, took it home, and then I brought it back. 100 bucks, size XL on this one. If any of you guys want this stuff, it's available for shipping. If it's still here, by the time this video's gone out, because it's selling pretty quick, I just posted it today. The, is that the Usher? It's the Usher, pretty cool. It's got some marks on it, stuff like that, that's why I only got it for 100. This would be like a $300 tee if it wasn't having all the marks on it. But it's got the yay, the Kanye hit on the back. Shout out to Yeezy. Huh? Shout out to Yeezy. Yeah, shout out to Kanye and all of his mental breakdowns. Shout out to him. Hey, hey. mental health. 300, it. Freddy Krueger. I picked this up in one a video back in the day that we uh, did when we were out in Cali. I don't remember where we were at, but Freddy Krueger, pretty cool. Just feeding the baby, all that juices and stuff like that. Nice blood. 1998, pretty cool. Got the big old back hit on the back. Nightmare on Elm Street. Don't dream and drive. Don't dream and drive, brother. Hey, wake up. <laughs> he was so serious. <laughs> Next up, we got a little 250 right here. Eminem and 50, Anger Management 4, 2005. You guys love vintage, you guys love seeing the hats, you guys love seeing the shoes, so I mean, it all ties in. We, we, I went to, I went, didn't they come here? They came to Phoenix? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll yep. see. They did come to Phoenix. Shout out to the boys. Yeah, I, 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 White I, 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 chocolate I, I, and dark chocolate right there. Shout out to 50 and M. Yes. 50's arguably the best rapper of all time. We love 50 Cent around here. Southside, Queens, yeah. Jamaica. Yep. You know, 50, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> Rep your Next set. up, we got a little Mike Tyson. We picked this up at this, well, this one up at Rose Bowl. I'm not a big fan of how it fits me. I like it a lot though. Super soft, great tee. Um, 500 on this one, which is pretty good. I think I paid 500 for it, so pretty good one right there. Mike Tyson, best in all time. Yep, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Where's Mike Tyson from? And we got the uh, Where's Brooklyn. Yeah. It's Brooklyn in the house. <laughs> all right, next up. We got a freaking New World banger. World. We got Hulk Hogan. We got Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. We got Carl Malone. Carl Malone. Everybody knows anything about Carl Malone. That man was sus. Did you hear about that? You ever heard about that? Hey. If you know, you know. You know, right? I know. Yes. If you know, don't know, we're not going to tell you. Yeah. yeah. Back don't to the look shirt. up Carl Malone. Back, back to the shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Carl Malone is sus. <laughs> nah, shout out Carl Malone. Nah, shout out Carl Malone. I don't know you, but you, I don't know him either, to be honest. But Hulk Hogan, Dennis Rodman. DDP? DDP. I know he's big in the yeah, wrestling. We're, I'm not a big wrestling We're, we're going to get blasted, <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't know DDP? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. Next up, we got a little Bow Wow. I know who Bow Wow is. Bow Wow. This one's pretty hard. This is tag medium, but definitely fits like a large on that one right there. Next up, we got a little... You think it's just a monster truck race team, Batman, and then you got whoosh, pretty sick. This is a 2003, I think, 2006. So not too old, but this one's pretty cool. It's been a nice little back 2003, it. 2006. No, yeah. it's only three years. It's yeah, only three years apart. <laughs> Last but not least, this is a wacky racing size large. This is 2000 Air 99. I think 99, tag 99. Winning is everything, baby. Always remember that. But that's pretty much it for that. And our overextended segment with the cricket and Ku and me hey. and Noah. Shout out to the cricket. Hey. Got anything to say? We'll be in Denver. Listen, I can't wait to see you guys. Yes, Denver. Come say what's up to the OG. Listen, Denver. come holler. Let us know how you feel. Yes. Wear, wear your sneakers. I want to see some heat when yeah. I'm when I'm in Denver. I mean, I'd hope your sneaker coming. Listen, wear your sneakers. Wear, wear your wear, shoes. Wear, bring some heat though. Yeah. yeah. Bring some heat. Yeah. So we're excited. Denver won't have a booth, but LA we should have a booth. We'll have the rest of our merch that we have left. We might be dropping some new merch on the way yeah, there too. Maybe, so, hopefully. I don't know, maybe some shorts, maybe some stuff like that. We don't know yet, honestly. Comment down below what you want Comment to see. Comment down below. For yeah, the merch. Like some <laughs> underwear, some socks. I can make underwear, actually. <laughs> if we want to do underwear, we can do underwear. Yeah, we're not doing underwear. We can make Phoenix, Phoenix Hills thongs. Don't worry, come into a store near you. <laughs> Phoenix Hills thongs, all the, all the girls out there. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up for this segment. I don't even know where we're at in the video right now. We just wanted to pop in here. I guess we're doing some spring cleaning, right? Spring cleaning. Cleaning. It is spring yeah, cleaning. Spring cleaning right? Now, people are spring shopping. Hey, so. and like I say, you know, if you got too much stuff in your closet, I've been telling Koo about this, and he's been bringing pairs in. Sell it. You know what I mean? It's not me. Shout Good out dust. to everybody who got their tax return and been here and here today. Yes. Spending I guess money. we're jumping from that for that. We're all over the place right now. But, bro, people have been dropping back today. Shout out to y'all. Thank you guys for ordering merch, ordering vintage cheese. It's almost sold out. It's almost sold out. So, if you guys want any, hit us up before we bring it to LA. 
on the 21st, 22nd. So I don't know where we're at right now, but you'll see us in the next clip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to the main part of the video. I decided to add Mr. Cody into this part of the video because we're going to be doing these fake Fugazi shoes that you guys saw in the thumbnail. The reason this video is at 4.5 million views right now, trending, trending on SportsCenter, Fox News, ESPN, CNN. Uh, ESPN Sports Center, the same thing, but it doesn't matter. TMZ. TMZ. It's still trending. OnlyFans, all that good stuff. The reason it's trending right now is because of this fake shoe. Right here. You even wrote it. This isn't a joke, it's actually a fake shoe. We have a storyline to this. If you guys watched our last video with Mr. Cody right here, he went over his shoe collection. He has a Fugazi pair. Oh, you see one of those? Yes, you'll see Jordan one Lowe's. He has a real pair and he has a fake pair because this girl brought him in. So, this girl brought her baby daddy shoes in. Her baby daddy didn't work out. They split apart. They split apart. They went their separate ways. So, she brought those UNC Lowe's and she brought these Fugazi dunks right here. She basically brought them in. We told them they were fake. She thought she was had something going. She got stuff. She had some bread in her pocket. She said, yeah. screw my mans. I'm going. I'm getting some bread. Didn't work out. She went back to that trash can out there and threw the. She was heated. Let's just say, to, to say the least. She just had she it. She said, "My, I don't even know to say what she said." She, she said, did. Yeah. She says, <laughs> I she forgot about that. Stuff, but she was like, "They're fake." Okay, not your guys' fault, but she was mad. She broke up with her man's. Anyways, that's a 15-minute story on her and her man. She threw them in the trash out there. We went and picked them out. We were like, you know what? Be a great, vi great video. Yeah. Cody's like, I'll keep the UNC lows, skate them, ruin them. Why not? And we kept these Samba Dunks right here. So pretty, raz uh, pretty like random fake to be honest with random. you. But it's a dunk. It's a newer age dunk. This is all. This goes for all newer age dunks, everything like that. So we wanted to just do a legit check and show you guys what to look for. This is a little, good little example. Yeah, on, on shoes like this. Yeah, so, this has all the red flags. So, first off, you want to get your black light. I don't know why there's a black label on this. This doesn't come with a black label. All these newer age dunks are always going to come with a red label. So, I mean, that's kind of common sense, though. I don't really understand why they did that. <clears throat> but, so you got that. And then we're going to black light this, as you can see. Nice and good, exactly how you want it. And then you come down here, and then you get that... Oh, not what you want to see right there. Well, tilt it up for you. That is a stamp. That is a Chinese fa factory stamp right there. Um, as you can see, it's just very poor quality. It's very cheap. Um, just not what you want to look for in a, in, a, in a dunk. But yeah, you got the basic stuff right there. That's your basics. That's that one on one. You want to black light the whole entire box all the way around. See if there's any stamps, anything like that. There's a fake stamp right there as well. I came out of the factory. Fake stamp. I'm <laughs> kidding. But. Before we even get into the shoes, we're gonna start in the box like I've just been doing right now. And we're gonna go right here. So, as you can see on this box, this is the fake box. So, there's gonna be like an excessive groove on this box. This is one of the real boxes right here. And it does have those grooves, but it's not like as crazy. And then you go to this one and it's like, I'm doing the same exact thing. You can tell the color of the browns. Yeah, the color really of the browns. Just cardboard. Just like, it has more of like a texture. You can see the lines going down it. You can't on these ones. They're very thin. And then let's get away from this authentic box. And we're gonna get into the shoes right here. Actually, no we're not. We're gonna do one more thing. So, you can see this quality control sticker right here. Cody's gonna grab the other box again. So when you light this up, there should be like little lines. It should be going down the sti sticker like this. This is a fake sticker. It's just a normal sticker. Yeah. There's no like texture to it, anything like that. You just print that but little on this one, an authentic one, it's, it's probably gonna be hard to see on camera because the black light's really bright, but there is like these texture lines that go down this sticker. Oh, wait, hold it still. Kind of see it on here. Yeah. So there's gonna be like those texture lines that go down that sticker. This one doesn't have it at all. It's just a normal sticker. And almost is not clear, but you can definitely tell it's not like yeah. thick it's, white. It's not, it's this not. is like and it's very, very. Yeah, you can't even true. see through it. It's kind of translucent. Yeah. And there should also, you know, usually with most dunks, there's gonna be like a stamp of some sort. Another qual there's that quality control sticker, and there's also gonna be like a stamp like this. Usually, for the most part, somewhere on the box, there's gonna be something. And if I had to take a guess, I would say this one probably doesn't have anything. It doesn't have nothing. Yeah, no wrong boxes there is, is, is there anything. So I mean, right there before we even touch the shoes, we know that the shoes are fake. But we'll get into the shoes and we'll show you guys some things as well. So this is the Samba Dunks. These were released what, a couple years ago? 2020, right? I think so. Yeah, 2020. So this was a pretty hyped up shoe. I mean, this, so it's, it's a lot like the newer Dunks. It's the same exact thing. Dunks started popping off in 2020 again or with like the Kentuckys, the Syracuse. Yes, stuff like this was that. right around that this time. Is the same exact time. So you're gonna have the same exact type of boxes, same exact structure, everything like that. So what you want to do is also you want to black light the shoe, the whole entire shoe. And as you can see here, some tracer lines. As you can see right there, those are tracer lines. That's what the fake factories use to, uh, they just don't have the machines that Nike have. So they have to have those tracer lines. And when this, like wherever the material doesn't go over that, the tracer lines are left. This one's kind of hard to see on camera. On but the toe box, you can see it. Yeah, there's low. tracer lines right there. And then there's tracer lines right here as well. Black light is going to be your main thing Hold it back when you're bit. looking at it. 
you guys can for see sure. right there. Yeah, yeah. so there's, yeah. there's your tracer lines. Just the overall shoe without a black light moving on from that is just not right. I mean, it's just off-centered. So this is, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff off. This Nike sign is way off. It's too high up on this actual little tag right here. There's so much space underneath it. I wish we had another Samba Dunk to compare to, but you don't really see these anymore, to be honest. Yeah, we haven't no. had, an, like, we haven't had, I mean, obviously everything we sell in here is authentic, but we haven't had, like, an authentic pair in here for, in a long time. It's just overall sloppy, just a very sloppy shoe. It's not, you can just tell. The quality. Like, the, the quality is not there. This isn't a crazy good quality shoe as it is, but, like, even like the, even like the, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like unproportional. All this, it's like, it's super unproportional. It, it's my, like I said, it might be hard to catch on camera. I'm just fat. But it's just fat, like it's thicker in some yeah, areas. Yeah, it is really it's smaller. Fat. It's like smaller right here, but thicker right here. It's not even, um, it's just like basic stuff. Like for us, we don't have to go in depth. Like if we see the shoe, like we know it's fake right away. Like we don't need to like, we're not gonna be like black lighting it and doing all this and like, cause for us, we've seen so many shoes, like we just like, it's fake. Like right away, we can tell. With dead stock shoes, these ones have been worn a couple times, but with dead stock shoes, it's all about the smell. Yeah. All about the smell. Smell, like I don't even need a black light, I don't need the box, I don't need anything. I can just smell the shoe and tell if it's fake or real in literally five seconds. Yeah, probably actually 10 out of 10 at a time. I know, it, the, the smell is gonna be your number one thing. Like I said, this is a used one, so I can't really go off smell for this one, but like, if you have like a dead stock Jordan 1, a dead stock Dunk, stuff like that. If it's an older release shoe and it has that new factory smell, just like in the SneakerCon video, we were looking at those UNC top highs, threes. the top threes, the reverse shattered backboards, all that stuff. Those shoes came out in like 2015, 2016. Those shoes should not be smelling like, like they right. just came out the factory. There's no reason, like it's a freaking, it's a six year old, seven, eight year old shoe. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be smelling like it just came out the factory. So that's the main thing to look at with uh, like older release stuff and, and stuff like that. But even like, you know, if you want to talk about like a Travis Scott high, like the Mocha pair, like that shoe is been out. That's probably for, slowing. It's like, there shouldn't be like, when you smell that, it shouldn't be like, whoa, this came, just came out the factory. You can't shouldn't have like a nail, uh, a nail salon smell to it. A, like a glue smell, stuff like that. It shouldn't have any of that. So smell and black light are obviously your top two things to look at, but my thing is smell for sure with dead stock stuff. This is used, so you got to do a little bit more in-depth look into it. I usually look at two. Oh it's yeah, there you go. Inside, inside. Very, very sloppy. Very sloppy. It's like, just not at, straight. Like look how sloppy cut this that is. This swoosh just like goes up and down almost. Yeah, but look at this. Look at this stitch right here. Look how like. Yeah, the maiden china doesn't like, even. It's so Airbnb sloppy and like. I mean, we can grab one of these dunks right here. It's gonna be a lot more cleaner. It might not be as clean, but it's a lot more like, you know, it's a lot more clean for sure. You see? Just clean cut. Yeah. Um, it's more of a cream, so you can't see the actual yeah. font on the writing. But like the, the physical cut and the stitching is like super clean, nicely cut. Nike comes out with a lot of pairs of these types of shoes, so there's gonna be some factory flaws and stuff like that. But it's just like when you see multiple things adding up over and over again. That's gonna wrap it up for the overall review on this shoe. Um, I do want to say that you know that you know the smell, the box, the black the lights, the quality. That's not just something you look for on Dunks in general. Um, it, that's all shoes. All that stuff matters. If you guys don't know how to legit check a shoe, go to a store, meet up at a store. Don't just meet up on OfferUp, meet up on Facebook, yeah. meet up on Instagram. If you don't trust somebody, just be like, hey, can you meet up at blah, 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 and can, and can they legit check the shoe uh, for a meetup? If they say no, it's a red flag. Red flag. They're right fake. there. They're fake for 90% of the time. They'll be like, oh, bro, I can't drive, I can't do this. Like, just people will do that stuff all the time on OfferUp. We get stories pretty much every day, every other yeah. day. Bringing shoes in, they're fake. They're oh, fake. I messed, messed on offer up. Just mess with the guy on offer up and be like, hey, can we meet at Phoenix Souls? Can they, can they legit check them and then I'll give you the money for them? We'll do legit checks. 99% of the time, if they're re real, why the heck wouldn't the person do that? Yeah, yeah we'll put these back in the box. Um, back in the trash. Uh, yeah, honestly, maybe throw them back in the trash unless Cody wants to skate them. Low key, I could skate these. Yeah, off. so I mean, if you want to skate them, you could skate them. I don't, I don't really care. No cap, I could. Couldn't pay for them, so. That's the segment. We're gonna roll on to the next clip. Let's get it. What's happening, everybody? So, we're gonna go through some of my personal stuff. If you guys watched the last video, I told you guys I was gonna go through some personal stuff that I'm getting rid of. We weren't able to put it in the last video, so we had to slide in here. We're gonna go over all this stuff right now. I got a couple fitteds, I got some pants, I got some shorts, I got some tees, some hoodies, as well as we're putting out a whole bunch of heat today, too. We've priced, laced, and put a whole bunch of new pairs out. We're gonna be going over those as well. Just a couple things, a couple quick movers we're putting out today, but we're gonna start off with some of the tees that I got going on here. Like I said, all personal stuff. Little chrome tee, nothing too crazy on the front. But we got a little back hit. I'm cycling out my chrome just because the quality on them is just not there. It's not there for, a, well, I mean, it's like a $500 tee brand new, but I wore this like one or two times, size large. I'm throwing it out for 380. Um, just so you guys know, all this stuff is gonna be available in store, obviously. 
right here in a location in Phoenix, but we also ship. So phx.souls, hit us up on the Instagram. The website's on the way. Me and Noah are working on it. Um, it's, it's really getting close, honestly. The whole layout is pretty much done, but we have to start uploading stuff. But hit us up, phx.souls. You can pay, pay through there, stuff like that. If you guys see anything that you like, but next up, we got a little Chrome Hearts hoodie. Um, we got the Phoenix Souls hoodies now, so I don't gotta be wearing this. I'd rather rep our brand rather than, you know, shout out to Chrome Hearts, but I would rather just rep, you know, the Phoenix Souls hoodie. Why exactly. not? Exactly. Yeah, it's, you know, you got a brand, you might as well rep it. But we got that right there. This is a size large as well. That one's 700. It's a pretty good price. I wore it a couple times, but on StockX, it's like 1100 or 1000 or something like that. Threw it here for seven, wore it a couple times, thought that was a pretty good price. As well as, got another little designer piece right here. Got a Dior button up. Um, I bought this a while back. Um, a lot of this stuff is just stuff that I don't really wear anymore. I'm not a fan of hoarding stuff. Once I buy stuff, I like to let other stuff go so I can make that money back up. But I got this for a steal. Retail on this was like $2,200, which is absolutely crazy. Shout out to the homies over at Drip Cartel. We did a trade. But I just haven't really worn it that much. I've only worn it like once since I've got it. It's just been sitting in my closet. So I don't know the exact sizing on it, but it fits like a large. I'm six foot, fits me perfect. So if you're like 5'10", 5'11", 6 foot, this will fit you perfect. But I got in here for $7.50, which is an absolute steal. Got it for a steal, throwing it back out for a steal. Next up, I used to wear these quite a bit, but I want to get some new EE shorts just because, you know, I want to mix it up a little bit. These are medium right here, nothing too special on them. These are, this is an older release for sure though. Yeah. This is an older, older one, but this one's pretty cool. Older I like thing. it, I like but it's a medium. It's a little too short. I would rather have, I have larges in a lot of my EE shorts. I have a couple mediums that I'm letting go of, and this is one of them, just a hundred bucks on those. As well as Dang, it's kind of a steal, no? Yeah, it's a steal. They're like 250 on stock. I was say, that's pretty so cheap. So I wore them 100 bucks. I got them for a steal. So I was like, might as well just throw them back out for a steal. Then we got just some essential shorts. Nothing too special here. Size small, which they don't feel like a small, they feel like a large. Yeah, they Those are so up. big now. Yeah, it's you crazy. Go up essentials, but the 100 bucks right there, not bad as well. And then we're getting some of the heavy hitters right here. We got a size 34 and some Gucci pants. I'm actually planning on picking up um, some crazy, crazy LV. Um, denim pants, the were they Nego ones? I think they're Nego yeah. ones. But there's some denim ones that are like this. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell these and get those. They're pretty expensive, but I'm gonna you know move some stuff around just like I'm doing right now to get those. Um, they're like three thousand dollar pants, but I really really want them. I wear them all the time. But yeah, we got these ones right here. Retail on these is twelve fifty. It was like thirteen fifty after tax. I'm throwing them out for nine fifty. These guys are like pretty much freaking brand new. Yeah, uh, all of this stuff, yeah, honestly. Stuff, these are very, very clean. I washed these on like one time. These are spotless. 950 for these is actually, that's a steal, honestly. Yeah. Like said, retail is like 1250. After tax, you're paying like 1350. 950 for basically brand new Gucci pants. Pretty nice. It's part of the new collection too, so I just picked those ones up. Gucci, you always gotta have Louis. So we got a couple Louis pants I'm gonna be showing off here next. Starting off with this one. The Distorted Damiers. Yes, these are pretty clean. I like this one a lot. This is part of the newest collection. One of the newer collections, at least. Um, the Gucci's were 34, these are 32, but I will say they both fit the exact same, more like a 32, 33. Um, designer stuff always fits weird. They have their own sizing. They have their own each sizing, brand. It's all European, Italian. It's just tailored, always different. Yeah, it's something. always tailored different, stuff like that. But just like the Gucci's, those ones were 12.50 retail, and these ones are also 12.50 retail before tax. So I'm throwing both of them out for 9.50 a piece, which I think is a really, really good price. I can't remember what retail was around these. I believe it was like 1,700 or something like that. Got the Leaf pants right here, the Leaf Virgil um, pants that he dropped a while back. I think this was like 2019 or 2020. These ones are super crazy. Uh, Gucci Mane wore these ones a couple times, the full outfit, and he kind of popped this one off. This one's a 34. Like I said, it's like a 30, it's like a 32 to 34, I guess you could say, depending on what it is but they all fit pretty similar. I'm like a 32, so that's that. Next up, got a little Marikami flower. I bought a bunch of these for the house. This one, I just couldn't really find a spot for. We're pretty stocked up at the house right now with like collectibles and stuff like that. So we got that one. Did I see the price on these ones? 1100. Yeah, 1100. 1100 on the uh, Virgil leaf pants. So 1100 on those ones, which is pretty crazy. You don't see those ones. That's you can't even find them you can't anywhere. Even find them. Those, that's a very, very rare pair of pants. Going out for 350. Marikami flower right there. We got like a little belt right here. I don't really wear anymore because I got a Dior one. Shout out to my mom's. She got me a Dior one for Christmas actually a while ago. So I just haven't really worn this one. So I'm selling that for 200. And we got a couple fitteds right here. We got a couple fitteds, some bangers. I actually brought a Boston fitted. I already sold. Some guy saw it on the counter and he's like, I need that. Sold it to him for 100, but we got like a little sandstorm right here. d backs Then we got just a little Tampa Bay. This is the felt collab. It's got like all like the little butterflies all over it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. 60 bucks on that one. Um, I wore this one, you know, quite a few times. That's why I'm just doing 60 on it. This one usually sells for like 140, yeah. 150. This one is a sports world. 
I want to say sports road uh, cap, not a hat club. I like this one. This one's very, sport. very sick though. This one's sick. Peach. Yeah, peach. 80 bucks on this one. This is a 3 eighths. Most of these are a half. The sandstorm's a half. The felt is a half. That's a 3 eighths. We got a half right here in the Valentine's Day. I've worn this one a couple times. You guys probably seen in videos. Valentine's Day Detroit Tigers. This one's pretty cool. Hat club on that one. Um, 80 bucks. And then we got uh, lemonade. Um, pink lemonade. This one's really cool. It's got a little pin with it too. Yeah, this one's this one's sick. You don't really see this one too much. A little d back one, which is pretty cool. Which I thought the d back one was the best logo out of all of them. And then, like I said, we're gonna go over a couple pairs. Let's start over here, actually. We got just picked up all these pairs uh, the past couple days, and we're finally getting to putting them out. We did a trade on these ones. Traded a Travis Low for a Travis High. Threw 100 bucks on top. This is an 11 and a half. These are extremely clean. These do not come in very much anymore. They're getting harder and harder to find. They're turning into dinosaurs. People buy them now too, like yeah. if they can find them, they buy them. You just don't really see them anymore and it's just crazy. They're just, it's just a crazy shoe. It's turning into just one, like an off-white, like an off-white yeah. Chicago, stuff like that. It's just getting to that. That tier. That tier, but even though the prices aren't really going up that much on them, which is still surprising. The lows are above the highs now. Yeah. It's crazy. Next up, we got a couple pine greens, nothing too special right here, the 2.0s. Got a nine for 240 and 11 for 300. We got the better pine greens right here, the 1.0s. This one is 10 and a half for 450. Got a couple shadows right here. Some of my favorites, some OGs. Got a size six for 400 and a nine and a half for 500. Pretty cool right there. You don't really find great schools in these anymore. Got a couple University Blues we picked up. A size six for 460 and a size 11 for 400. This is just a bunch of good quick movers we picked up out of the back. We've got a size 11 right here in the patents. Nothing too special, 320. Got a 75th anniversary. Size 10, 240. Got a used pair of Georgetowns, size four and a half, 180. Some girl will come scoop these up for sure. Got a Paisley, five and a half men for 280. We sell these great, I love this shoe. If you guys are selling these, bring these by. I have to address this actually. Bring these by, yes, if you're local. We don't buy out of state. Just letting you guys know that. We get, shout out to all y'all that wanna sell to us, this and that, we just sell out of state. So we ship, we do all that type of stuff. But we do not buy out of state. So if you guys are looking to sell, we're not buying out of state, I'm sorry. Maybe we, long down maybe the road. Maybe long down the road, like only time we buy out of state is when we go to events because we, I don't, we just get so much stuff locally. We don't have to buy out of state. So that's just not, we're just not doing that. So, so come find against, us at a... Nothing against it. You know, shout out to all the people that do buy out of state. It's not that we don't want to buy out of state. We just would rather have the shoes in hand, going quick, moving have to quick, wait for stuff those. like that. So we do sell out of state. So if anything you guys see here, you guys want to buy, we ship. But as it comes to buying, we appreciate you guys trying to buy, sell to us, but we just don't, we don't buy out of state because we've had so many problems in the past. We just, we don't worry about it. We just buy locally because we get, we get enough as well as we go to events and we buy. Yeah. So come find us at a sneaker con yeah, if you do want to yeah. sell to us at a state. Sneaker con Denver. So right here, we got a little six and a half red four, 480 on these guys. We got a uh, thunder. Just picked these up like five minutes ago. Size eight and a half, picked these up for 260. Throw them out for 380. That's after fees. A homie bless with a great price. So shout out to him. We got a size 11 and the university blue fours 400 these are creeping baby yeah These're i know like we're gonna ask, lowest ass. asks are going up on those another great mover for us in the store it's a cheap shoe size 11 260 cool grade three we sell these great you know if you want to sell them bring them to us we'll buy them for sure got a unc three actually right those, here. Bro. these shot up in price i think lowest ass is like 600 yeah well 500 on the i think like 640 is lowest ass or something 11 and a half got a couple cardinal threes right here nothing too special got a nine and a half and a 13 220 and 280 got uh Oreo four. We got we did a trade on these. I'm like done buying these, bro. We have so many of these. Yeah. And they're getting to a price people don't want yeah, to pay for anymore. They're too expensive. Too. I didn't know they were that high. Five hundred size twelve. I don't think it's a five hundred dollar shoe personally. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's clean, but I don't think it's worth that. In my personal opinion, and people are starting to realize that too, and they're just not selling like they used to. Got a couple PSGs right here, a nine and a half and a size ten. We got the nine and a half at four sixty and a ten at four hundred, and then we got the 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 talk of the world right here, the black half fours, man. These sat in stores for months after the release, didn't go for nothing, and now they are worth an arm and a leg. Yeah. Um, lowest ass on a size six and a half is eight fifty, right? Yes. This is a very 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 clean pair, super clean pair. Um, I paid 350 for these a long time ago, and I'm finally putting them out. I'm actually very happy I sat on them. I didn't even mean to sit on them. We just didn't get time to put them out. I put them here for 600, which $250 on the lowest ass, spotless OG all, pretty good price. And then we got a size 10 right here. What is it, 850? It was like something like that, 850, 840, something like that. Put them out for 680, which is crazy, but pretty good price. What is that, $170 on the lowest ass? Yeah. Pretty cool. Like I said, we got these. We got these, putting out a banger right here. Putting out all the personals. So 
if anybody's interested, hit us up, phx.souls on the Grammyo, or if you are in Phoenix, come by, say what's up, come chop it up with us. We're always selling, we're always buying, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. We're gonna head into the next clip. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. This was a fun one to make, like I said. Super funny one, we had a lot of funny clips in this one. At least we thought we were pretty funny in it. So it was a good one for sure. We went over, like we said, the legit checking on that shoe. Um, that works for all shoes, not just dunks, just basic necessities for that you need to checking know. shoes. Legit checking. You need to know. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're gonna be a reseller, it's all the stuff you, you need, need to know. know. And if you're not a reseller, you're just trying to pick up some shoes locally, you're not buying on you know one of your favorite apps, just meet up at a shop, do something like that, play it safe. Be went safe over, out there. Yeah, went over some personals. Um, you saw in the beginning all the heaters that we freaking were putting out. We put out some crazy stuff so stay tuned to the instagram for that who brought in some heaters i brought in like i said some personals but i think that's pretty much it for today's video like we said stay tuned for all the updates that we just gave you um we got our you know it's a little bit down the road but it's about two months away we're gonna be having a local event here in arizona hopefully fingers crossed for our get that gym yeah get that gym for the two-year event obviously we're gonna be open here right across the street massive gym over at the local high school like we said it ain't no local high yeah, school it's, it's like a college nice, tuition prep school. Nice school so it's super nice get a bunch of vendors in there that would be sick not next video but the video after that we're gonna be in SneakerCon Denver with a nice big special announcement for you guys so we're super excited for that um, a true dream come true um, for I'll us on, yeah on that one uh, as well as like we said um, the 21st, 22nd, we also got SneakerCon LA, which that's gonna be a crazy one too. The whole gang, probably gonna shut the shop down. The whole gang's gonna go out for that one, for sure. Yeah, if we're not all there, there, most of us are gonna be there. The shop will be shut down. Most of the gang will be there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, hope you learned something from that legit check. Yes, honestly. So, and uh, just like, comment, subscribe. Yep. That's it for today. Another day at the shop. Yes, like, comment, subscribe, run it up. Drop the comment down below, $30 free comment. Um, just, I don't even know. This video was jam packed with some, with a bunch of goodies. So just let us know, like maybe, you know, if we ever encounter another fake, maybe just let us know like something else we could point out that you guys would like to know, something like that. Hopefully the next time we encounter a fake, cause we don't be buying fakes right yeah. here. It's a dead stock one. So we can just like, you know, we can't show, we can't show you this now, but we can just show you our faces. Like it's just not the right, you know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Like we said, we're gonna be sneaker shopping around the city of Arizona. We can't fit all the shops in one video. So we're probably gonna do like four or five shops and maybe do a part two. So stay tuned for that next video. Appreciate you guys. Yep. Love you guys. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>